Okay. Gray matter. You asked for it. Here it is. We're going to do a lead melting morning with old Grave Digger Max. We're going to transform this gray matter into new gray matter. Sinkers, a few fishing baits, and a lot of one pound blocks. Come on along, as Mike would say. And by the way, where is Mike? I ain't seen Mike in a few days. What's up, Mike? Stand by for gray matter morphosis. Metamorphosis, I should say. Then we're going to hunt for some yellow. See you later. Well, the tide's not low till 3. It's like 8.30 now. So we're setting up to melt some lead. It's a nice day. Sun is shining. Got one melter going. Getting ready to fire up that cookie melter. We'll have some lead going in a few minutes. Stand by. I don't know if this thing's on. Or not. Well, it's melting. See it? Click up. Fell right in there. I'll set this mold on top here to get warm. And this one, they have to be hot when you pour the lid in them. And we got to put some cleaner in it. This is what I use. You can use regular candle wax if you want. This compound you put in there. These are the eyes that go in the big sinker molds. I'll show you in a minute. Over here I got the big, big pot cooking. I put a shovel over in case it explodes. Man, it'll explode too. If any water gets in there. And you got to do this open or outside. But it's a little breezy right now, so that's the reason I moved over. I moved the big cooker in here. Stand by. I got the fan in the back going, blowing the fumes out of the garage. As soon as that gets down a little bit, I'll add some more to it in that flux to clean it up a little. You see, that's all the trash that's building up on top. And I haven't put the cleaner in there yet. But it's, uh, it'll be pure, nice lead in a few minutes. This stuff in here is, uh, you can see it's getting down some now. I've added some more lead to this pot. This is the stuff that came out of the first pot. That's all the swivels and hooks and eyes and metal pieces that were mixed in with the lead. You dip that off. I haven't put the cleaner in this yet because I'm going to put some more lead in it in a few minutes. But you can see the nasty stuff that's in there. Stand by. Well, let's go outside here. This one, I put the cleaner in already. And it's ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some in these molds just to heat them up faster before I actually make anything with them. Heat the molds up. Stand by. Alright, I poured uh, two sinkers in that mold just to heat it up. Let it set a couple minutes to cure out a little bit and we'll pop that open and Take that lid back and put it back in the pot. You can see there's two big sinkers right there. A 16 ounce and a 14 ounce. Just knock them right out of there. We're going to drop them back in here. That mold is pretty hot now. we do it one more time. We may pour some in here right now to heat this little mold up. You just stick this under here and it's got a spout on it like I told you. You lift that spout up. And 
This one makes six at one time right here. Jig bait hook, jig baits. Yeah, all six of them poured perfect too. With no hooks in them. probably won't pour many of the big ones, the little ones today, I'll probably just pour the little ones, these three right here, probably the little ones I'll pour. Gotta get some hooks now, stand by. Okay, there you put the swivels in for the sinkers. Two brass swivels. Alright. Then you try to shut it up so that the swivels stay in line. And they did. Hold it under here, line it up with the right hole. Now I don't normally pour these big sinkers with this mold here, with this pot here. I use that big pot behind me for the big sinkers because it takes so much lead, you know, like a pound at a time for each sinker. One sixteen ounces, one fourteen ounces. I'm just doing this for practice for you guys. I would never use this mold right here. I mean this pot for these big sinkers. That's what they look like when they're finished. This is what they're supposed to look like when they're finished. One pound sinker. We call them cannonballs. Rolling sinkers. We let it set a minute, we take a look at it. But like I said, I don't use this pot for those big sinkers. I use the one behind me and ladle them out with a ladle. Pour them in here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, perfect. One pound sinker. 16 ounces. 14 ounces. You just take a pair of pliers and trim that little end off and we're done. So that's all of these we're going to make with this with this pot. We just set them over there and let them cool off a little bit. We'll carry this in there and set it by the thing so it can stay warm. Stand by. Alright, I've added lid to this two more times and you see it's pretty much full now. Once I clean that crap off the top of it, put some cleaner in there, she'll be ready to go. Now, you'll dip these these are ingots. I mean, these are these little pots along the side are one-pound blocks to sell on eBay. You can buy, you can do them in rough and cookie pans and stuff like that. But to make them nice and uniform size, each one being one pound, I use them little molds, one-pound molds. I got three of them, so I can pour twelve pounds at one time. Stand by. Put some cleaner in it now. Like I said, you can use wax or you can use this stuff I use, but. It's probably going to flame up and make a little fire. Stand by. Now, as you can see, but in a second or two, it'll all be nasty black. You can see the other stuff, like I showed you earlier, that's came out of there. All the brass eyes and swivels and all that stuff. 
You can see it's turning black now. It'll turn black in a minute. I'll just scrape it off and we'll go to pouring some bulk lead. That's some nasty crap right there. Stand by. Okay, we pretty much got it ready to go now. Let's start putting some in them molds right there. You see the label holds just about a pound of lead. The lead goes away fast when you're melting it. Like I said, this is usually the pot that I would use to pour the big sicker mold in right there. I pour them right in there. Now we let these set a while and keep cure off, cool off a little bit. We go out there and we'll make us some baits now. While this is curing. Stand by. Today I'm going to use number four eagle claw hooks. If I can find the damn thing, there it is. Gold plated, any gold plated, it's just gold colored eagle claw. Stand by. There's, this, there's the hooks in the mold. You just shut the mold up, fill it full of lead. No big, no big deal here. All right, there you go. Oh, you making hooks? I'm making jig baits. Y'all jig hooks. Yeah. Guru came over there for assistance. Okay. There they are. Finished up. That's three. I ain't going through this whole process with you. You know how to do it now, so. You've seen it once. You've seen it all. You just keep putting hooks in the mold and keep pouring lead in the mold. And at the end of the day, you got two or three hundred baits if you want to make that all right, let's dump some lead on the floor and see what it looks like. Could be cured by now. Just pick these up and drop them on the concrete. The lead will fall right out of them. All right, you say it takes a pound for each one of them? Yeah. All right, I got, I got two pounds. Yeah. That's what's holding in that fire right there. It's got to melt. And those are dollar quarter piece. You got nine dollars. You got nine dollars in this thing right here. You, you, you got eleven dollars. You got eleven dollars out there in the quarter. And that thing holds more than I thought it would. Look at that shit. There they are. 
12 pounds of lead in a matter of seconds. So there it is, finished product. One pound of lead. Take a silver, trim it off a little bit and make it a little prettier. Done deal. Now how long does that take the, the, the pot to melt? There's another 12 pounds down the road. That's about all I'm going to show you now. You know how to do it now. You know what happens. You know what the outcome is. We're headed to the cave in a little while. Okay, that's 56 pounds of lead that we made this morning. We made three fishing baits of different ounces just for let you know how they're done. We made two sinkers. There's not much to it. If you got the stuff, it's just nasty. Nasty air. That's why you have to do it outside or someplace where there's a lot of breeze blowing in a different direction from what you are. I put these on eBay for bullet people to make bullets with. It'd probably be a dollar, a dollar twenty-five pound in this form. It's a lot of work to me for a plain old sinker. Or gray matter. This is new gray matter now. Metamorphous. If I could sell the sinkers for 70, 80 cent a pound, and on a hoof, that would be the way to do it. But Liz took a little drop here locally. Somebody said 30, 40 cents. So I'm going to do an eBay experiment with these and see how they go. My buddy uh, Jim from Iowa, if you remember, he comes over to summer hunts with me some. He's, uh, he sells all his on eBay, anywhere from a dollar to a dollar 25 cent a pound. Okay, I'm going to put the stuff in the truck and get ready to go to. Sarah Constance Beach on the bay. Stand by. Oh, I forgot one thing. Mm -hmm. Clean up. That's all the crap that fell out of them. You've seen it, but that's the that's what you got from 56 pounds. Nasty lead, pieces of brass, wire, pieces of hooks, all kinds of crap left over. And it'll shovel right up once it dries. It gets hard, and you just hit it with a shovel, and it comes right up. You'll never even see it. In 10 minutes, it'll be gone. Stand by. My buddy Jim says you can get 10 or 12 pounds in this five dollar and 80 cent priority box anywhere in the USA. Now I got 15 pounds in it. It's uh, it's okay. I guess you could put 10 or 12 pounds in there easier, maybe, and kind of move them around a little bit more. But you can get 15 pounds in there. But he says he has to. Uh, Really secure the box good when he ships it out. He has to put tape all over both sides of it, heavy masking tape. Just leave the address line open. Everything else is taped up heavy. And he found out the hard way because he shipped some and all the boxes are broke apart. Well, I'll give one or two a try and see how it goes. Okay, see you later. I got the pot ready for next time. I got this one all ready for next time. It's full. And I'll just bring you over and let you look at this. Look at all that crap. All them swivels. Fish hooks. More swivels. Everything that ain't lead floats to the top in the trash. This is what was in the garage floor. I don't know why that didn't melt. That must have fell off on the side. Nasty stuff. Okay, that's it for today, lead-wise. As you can see, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Sun is shining. Nice. Got a little breeze from the south, uh, west-southwest maybe, I'm not sure. But now we're going to go look for some gold. See you later.